I'm back at Florida. Here we go. It's a minute and a half. Two minutes. 150. <clears throat> Initially, I thought... <clears throat> so, mind you, if you haven't seen my other videos, I'm going to start uh, analyzing these systems. These systems that we're about to see from the perspective that they are particles of a different scale than atoms like planets and stars are particles of a different scale than atoms these are also particles of a different scale than atoms that were specifically caused by the supernova of the earth and so these systems i'm going that are particles that are like stars can also supernova so i'm gonna like analyze that now from that angle because i i was just looking at this just now and i I've happened upon it earlier and i was like this is interesting <laughs> so i was gonna say though Earlier, I I saw these and I thought they kind of might have reminded me of not I didn't see that picture of this kind of way of dividing of material naturally. It looks like that's actually a quarry here. The reason it's like that is maybe a quarry, I guess. <clears throat> So it's it's not naturally like that. So whatever. <laughs> Here we get a good cross section into it. So this doesn't really show an, enough of the totality of the system to start. So let's start maybe if I come here, here, here. Let's just go through some things. Actually, no, that's fine. So here's one that looks kind of like a... I just took a picture of it. I was trying to find it not like this part of me. Because it's ba what I see is a galaxy that has like maybe gamma ray bursts, like a particles on one side and radiation on the other maybe. Some sort of flow even of... of presumably particles that then is radiating from this disk that asks, acts maybe even like a neuron. I don't know much about neurons, but they just popped in my head when I was noticing this like flow from a particulate to a, uh, to a just wave-like nature. Because, let's go on. Next, go to the next one still. Okay, this one's, this one's the best one to get a... So, particle, literally, a surface like a sun. Like the sun. So, let's get the surface of the sun. Surface of the sun. Images. Like this. Or maybe more like like this this one's a little more polygonal which is maybe reminiscent of other things like so let me just bring over so shallygrams just a reminder here's a shallygram let's bring up the coolest one maybe and they're also cool so part of me I was thinking of one specific one where is it? It's just here it is. <clears throat> this one's good because it just shows that this fossil and this fossil were coalesced into one unit, so therefore they're not fossils. They're actually caused by energy flows where the energy flow is between level layers that then a particle that is larger than atoms, composed of atoms still in our perception, if we if we look at it and we analyze it, we're like atoms. But it's still a particle composed of atoms that is actually 
literally stable as a particle to a point where it is a different scales particle that where an observer could be composed of those as their building blocks and then they would see reality based on the, using those as their building blocks and so besides the point <laughs> we're up I was gonna say the surface of the sun that looked a lot like maybe maybe that one I don't know in terms of the pot this one it probably more like uh like this one I mean, especially right there, we can we can really see it's doing the same thing, just on a different scale, but for the same reasons underlying it all, where there's probably a stable, larger particle that exists generally there, maybe several bonded to one another to form a unit that are separated and not quite as bonded to other units that then form boundaries between them and that there's literally just a sea of these subtly larger particles that form like nuclei and so um back to this This is not the best image. I think there was a better image of this one I found somewhere else. This exact image, just somewhere else. But the this is very. It's, let me let me find the better image. It's just not. It's just not good enough. I mean, this shows it pretty good. The structure just on a different scale, <laughs> which is crazy. So imagine this is literally like a part of a particle that was once a star, and this is like its actual surface able to be examined with that in mind. Not with it in mind that it's a coral reef fossil, but with it in mind that it's the surface of a star. <laughs> It's a galaxy and other mechanics at play. Maybe this one. I think this is the one that I was able to get it. Here. <coughs> Here it is. Okay, that's definitely... We can f physically see the definition here. So the C, just the... Again, polygonal, which is very common. But if we notice, like, here... So, over here, the system didn't supernova. It only supernovaed, at least in this cross-section, and probably into the rock. But where it, like, started to, it it literally has, like, an uplift that's, that's st steeply sloped. A steeply sloped uplift. <laughs> To the point where, like, it formed like that, I would say. If this rock was found exposed like this, it it's because there was a particle that, like, blew its side off. And, like, the side that shows it exposed. <clears throat> Enough for it to become exposed for us to notice it. And then we just marvel at it. And... It's literally a supernova particle from the Earth supernova. -ing. So, like, this particle is here. It wasn't, like, so... So, uh... Present as to necessarily notice its existence. Cause, like, we don't notice these particles. We'll see them and we'll be like, Boulder! <laughs> Or some other name, not realizing they're all just like 
particles on different scales and different stages and all these things that are like allow us to like connect the bridge from atoms to planets because the it's too far of a gap to go from atoms to the next largest building block is is planets it's something in the middle and it's literally everything in the middle it seems like here's a particle in the middle that experience that it was like stable and had a boundary relative to its environment it had a shell like a and a casing, a matrix it was within, just as they tend to do. <clears throat> and then it had ether flow, heat literally radiate through it like a wind of heat through between the atoms enough to separate the atoms and cause them to flow according to the physics and dynamics of what's occurring like this is not a coral fossil at all <laughs> okay so now that this one it kind of shows that principle that concept <clears throat> that's funny i called it a principle because it really is it's not a fossil i mean it's a fossil of a supernova and particle i guess Okay, with that in mind, let's let's see what else we can find here. And then so back to this video. That's cool. <clears throat> so it looks like they some of these pictures are probably gonna just be from quarrying, so I'm not sure. <clears throat> that was interesting. This is, oh, it's kind of like one that galaxy looking thing, but bending like a, like a lens. <clears throat> but it also focuses back somewhere. I wonder what's down there. Like if there's. I'm literally just looking like, can this be explained to so like, <clears throat> from an ether flow? And this kind of reminds me, pardon me when I keep doing that, of a, like a burst, like a part, a particle that like hits something and just kind of sprays. So maybe what it wasn't quite a large enough particle for the, also maybe the cross section we see, it doesn't reveal the quite quite what's necessary to see at that cross section here we see what looks to be a sort of shaping more like the the surface <clears throat> let's keep going something that's not quite as just cross sectiony <clears throat> oh my god see anything particular i mean general flow trends but nothing that's like so telling as to suggest anything the porosity i was thinking i was thinking actually now that maybe i maybe i spoke too soon i was thinking yesterday like it's it's highly likely that the way the universe works in some way is that it fills in the layers. <clears throat> and so, like, there, obviously, that's not, that didn't say anything at all yet. <laughs> fills in the layers, the end. <clears throat> I'm just trying to think of how to word it. In a way where, like, each layer, if it's filled in, it, cr it creates a, a matrix, a a grid that's kind of like a screen so like a screen matrix that the 
larger particles can get literally caught in the web of so they can't pass through the the like smaller ones can physically pass through these holes but larger ones would get caught here in a way where like with enough subtle layers considered up through my thoughts are it's essentially like it's like that so like when it's when there's no heat like it's almost like the the layers below become uh, unsupported by the the grid that holds them uh that holds them afloat pretty much the that supports them like like these things there's a particle in a matrix um i don't know what's going on there that, maybe that maybe that might have fell, fallen off there uh, it looks kind of rounded i'm not sure what that's about where that's from Maybe that's from the top too, and that's just the top side. That's probably the top side from up there. But as it has happened here, like this side got eroded away by some process somehow. Water, probably. I mean, there was physically water flowing through this region, so, and it's not the most stable systems. So it probably did at points uh, just kind of take away chunks leaving behind exposed material like this and then that just easily fell off i mean this is probably pretty stable now but at the time of its formation it was literally flowing water around it so it's wasn't that stable probably i mean it certainly had enough pressure and compaction to get it pretty stable and make a unit out of it and also a particle within it to to stabilize it so that's another thing like if there's if it's just like heat and like the 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 bottom layers of subtle particles but no ex no presence of larger but like internal systems to f for formations to basically a creed around then it will just be like a desert like the Tarim Basin just subtle particles because they it got separated by a process that essentially removed the uh, more dense particles maybe if the earth supernova like part of its uh, radiation literally just went through here <laughs> it just went through here straight up and out like out into the out into the uh solar system <laughs> like a beam of energy of just debris of mass to just bring a balance and it just a it's like a butthole <laughs> just sent a log out into space maybe that's what uh what is it called uh okay <laughs> Let's see, a mua mua or something. Yeah. Pardon me. Pardon me, sir. I'm trying to figure out if this looks like a turd. <laughs> Wait, what does, does this mean? Something, uh. Let's see, does it mean turd like? <laughs> oh my god that would, that would be kind of funny if 
for your, uh... Like, that actually is displaying a really unique demonstrations of just, like, there's no way that's just uh, some object in space. That is a piloted system. And it's got anomalies about it that really make it look like it, it's a it's anomalous for sure. There's some there's something up with this object. There is something up. It has exhibited non gravitational acceleration potentially due to outgassing. <laughs> you mean like a fucking <laughs> like a turd it's just gaseous just radiating the, the methane <laughs> in an abnormal way not most most things aren't usually a flaming turd I mean problem solved <laughs> Pardon my uh, wishful thinking, maybe. <laughs> oh my god. Part also aliens on Oumuamua, if you are there. Pardon my false interpretation thereof. <clears throat> Please. And. Also, I'd, uh, peace, peace would be nice, just peace, although, what comes after, if we could achieve peace, like, really, would people just be disappointed, like, uh, well, now what? <laughs> like, I feel kind of like, this is boring, dudes. Can we do something? All we do is look at stuff. We don't even do anything anymore. We used to fucking go out and do whatever. Now we, are, we just learn and learn. It's boring, dude. Sure, it's easy. In some ways, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> For scalp. Okay, okay. Hawaiian term for scout. I'm trying to think how scout and turd <laughs> merge into one word. Is there any possibility? A scout really suggests more of a the extraterrestrial interpretation that I, uh, you know, what in the, what is this? The point of light in the center. Oh. <laughs> that would be so funny if it was a turd. I want that's let's get some uh, let's get some scientific analysis into this. Let's see if there's any possibility there could be like a lift off, like a ramp for the turd. Like, uh, I mean, whew, what if that's what the Tibetan plateau is? Like, it came in this way. It was this big. It was a fucking wide turd. Wait, how big is a Momo? If it's too small, it's not reasonable. Okay, it's not reasonable. <laughs> That's a tiny turd for the, these mountain moving things. We need a big turd. We need, like, just a real long, elongated object. Maybe that really explains elongated objects. They, they get pooped out by some sort of feature like this. Like it's literally pooping it out. <laughs> Sorry to bring attention to your 
butthole earth. <laughs> Maybe uh, it's uh, meant to be. And then over here, they like secondary butthole, maybe. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so funny. <laughs> what was I doing? I'll, I'm so sorry, guys. Back to the back to this. We made it 50 seconds. Those are some like bristle cone pine looking trees what is this doing in florida in the keys i'm i did not give <sighs> whoa no. whoa <laughs> okay that looks like maybe a agave What's going on? I guess they're just straight cutting into these supernova remnants. That's too bad. There's no, it's, it's probably really hard to remove from the matrix. <clears throat> like, literally, the, the fossils like ammonites, the people will chip away the surrounding matrix. Like this part. But it's real hard to get this out of the rock. Not that anyone, anyone want to get this one out, but in general... This rock material is just not quite as <clears throat> as easy to get it out of the matrix, and that really makes me think of how the ammonite is. It can be taken out of the matrix, but not not like completely. Uh, has to be necessarily, but it can be, and it's certainly like a tendency. Where we just <clears throat> whereas shallograms, the matrix is really part of it. <clears throat> Maybe that ties into the matrix, like the movie kind of concept. Where it's it's almost like a path of enlightenment to get out of the matrix, but then the shallogram is like in the matrix. Where I mean, this is in the matrix too. <clears throat> Whereas in the middle, it, in the ammonite phase, it's like get out of the matrix. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't want to suggest anything about staying in the matrix. Because fuck the system. I'll say straight up what it is, bruh. What it be. <laughs> but that don't mean we, we can't uh, understand we're within one and live within it. Like a, like a shallogram, maybe. More so than like, like an ammonite and break out of the matrix <clears throat> and then break part of us in the, in the process remove our self from our protective shell so that we're no longer encased in it I know what it's like to break out of that matrix <clears throat> oh, fuck my <sighs> we should just get vaccinated walk in excuse me I'd like to make a scene here. I'm here to get vaccinated. You need to record this. No, I did this today. For science. <laughs> Immediately regretted. Fuck. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, oh, God. 
back in the matrix. <laughs> Not to now I feel like I'm encouraging people into the matrix. Get that vaccine. <laughs> don't know don't clip that shit. Get out of here with that shit. Alright, so let's look at this. Pardon all my cursing. Maybe I should stay in the K to PG boundary zone. Uh, kind of pre-supernova. <laughs> oh my god. Which is when the Earth is supernova. <clears throat> this is highly suggestive that there were heat flows, which basically carved channels... That, and shape the rock and basically uh, separated the rocks like not just in this instance but in other cases they're like crystals forming crystals are from a separation process for sure where there's like a a pure a purity to the substance able to form from the separation that is occurring from like a heat creating the separation, a flow, a current, not just a heat, but a, a flowing heat, basically like a current of heat. Maybe that's the key, is that it's, it's not just like hanging out hot, it's physically moving particles that are flowing like a river more in a way that we're just not really typically used to heat doing like it it tends to just like it's almost like a gas that just permeates to an, an equilibrium with the environment because that's what it is it's literally it's like the matrix the little particles that form a matrix of, of subtle particles. But if we could zoom in sufficiently where like a photon is a black hole and look at the, the subtle grid that the particle makes, it would do something of this nature. But it's so subtle that it's just like, so if something's hot, if I have like a hot drink in a room temperature, it's it's basically like a star of a, a base a high density of that layer that that like it wants to be balanced out into the environment in an equilibrium, but instead it's in like the cup. <laughs> It's in the liquid contained literally within the matrix of the larger particles that not just are atoms, but the like, like 20 degrees Celsius has a certain subtle particle that makes up its matrix. And then 30 degrees Celsius has a, a little bigger particles that make up its matrix that just become more gross the term is that are more so just widely spread so the larger they get the, the, there's one here there's one over there there's one over there but they're not like directly adjacent in spacing so the larger they get the the more spacing between them so that's it's like an inverse relationship Less particles, more spacing, the larger they get. More particles, less spacing, the smaller they get. But then they form a matrix that balances out to an equilibrium that's always at like a vibratory state. It's never at actually at an equilibrium because it's just like if we have a cup and it balances out into the equilibrium of the room, the room then balances out into an equilibrium, which balances out into an equilibrium. And it just goes on and on. And there's so many things moving around like you and I that we cause ripples in, in that environment that then literally ripple through the infinite layers. So there's, there's observers like composed of these particles moving around. And they're moving 
things around in there and they would see like a planet where they see the same type of features but where the atoms are not atoms but the atoms are really like these systems there's oh, so many of them maybe this is not the best example of because it's almost like a void like it exploded and created a void at the center like these systems they like, literally are their atoms so like that's how that's how strong we are we walk around like carrying this all the time in every atom we're just we <laughs> like it's ridiculous like we we crazy strong bro <laughs> it's just we're on such a different scale where uh, our particles are to us we see them as atoms but another observer looking at our atoms literally would see like if they could see an atom on their planet one of the particles we think of as an atom on their system they would see this like something of this nature because it, that's how it is it's just everything functions the same across an infinite scale <clears throat> so back to the matrix thing here oh, pardon me sirs <laughs> so like as higher temperatures it, then it just gets more dense the particles uh, fill in the space and then they start to coalesce into larger systems in essence which then probably a removes like in order to create a larger system it takes smaller systems so like they must coalesce into the larger system and that then strips away part of the supporting structure of the underlying systems of particles generally speaking so that like that layer of matrix doesn't has a void there because instead it's composed of a, of a different type of particle in that region basically creating uh, just a matrix uh, and uh, but not uh, just a matrix the matrix that we are within probably the actual matrix that's what it's referring to as a matrix of that nature <laughs> That is just infinite in scale, and figuring out how to interact with it is uh, probably possible if we understood it to be like that first and foremost. I mean, that would help. That would certainly help that to know that there are those kinds of things going on. So let's just keep. And then the, there's planets. Let's see what else I can find at when, when the. Key state. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see what the Wikipedia says. <laughs> uh, not much at all. Brain coral. Crazy. So the brain, which is really like a particle, like a sun, has been associated. A brain has been associated with a particle, like a sun. It makes me think of the seed of life and the uh, how these these ammonites seem to form almost like a nucleus. So they're literally like a nucleus that then forms a spiral around them. And it made me think, well, all it takes really is like a initial tiny spiral, undetectable, that just continues to spiral and becomes a detectable ammonite shell. And it's really like a seed, then. It just really needs a seed. And the seed then... The seed then... is some I guess it's I'm just trying to think the spiral itself I 
is essentially maybe is probably most most reasonably is the the unit it's like the unit the seed like the atom is a seed on one layer planets are seeds on another layer stars are seed on, seeds on another layer and it just continues on and on <laughs> <clears throat> But maybe brain coral, maybe it is. Maybe within our heads, like all the way deep down in our being, is our like nucleus, brain, coral, atom, particle, seed of life that is our like essence that's so buried that it. It's, it's the seed. Maybe it's maybe it comes back from the top though, where we then observe, like our, our consciousness and particles around us. That would be crazy. Like a, like if at some point we can pinpoint, whose, like consciousness is associated with which objects in like <laughs> like literally like a, in terms of like a storage so like if we wanted to interact with their consciousness we could literally like speak through this thing and then it, it like interacts with them somehow and so uh, it, just a thought i don't know <laughs> it would be crazy though like like, like this shallygram like they say vishnu is in these Maybe is. Yes. In that way, maybe, where it's like through the layers to the point where it's like literally. But maybe all the shallygrams are, like, all of us. That would be cool if we each had our own shallygram. That would be so cool. And we were able to figure it out somehow. And then, like, restore order by returning our shallygrams to one another. I can dream. Maybe that's a little idolatrous of me. I was... <laughs> That would destroy the freaking terrain, though, in the process. That's the thing. It's all like. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should realize that. <sighs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's what people think. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> like, uh... What do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from me, me? I don't know. Although... Hmm. Really not finding good pictures. That would be good without the text. Copy image. Save image, maybe, instead. Let's do that. There we go. Ooh. Like, that's a supernova. I know people think it's coral reef. It's going to be hard to get through to people, but once people realize the line of reasoning, they'll be like, God damn, it's a supernova. <laughs> <laughs> like the extent of that. It's the the freaking miles I've walked to get to that, that statement and be like, that's a supernova. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god.
that's that's a good picture right there. It's, it's real interesting. The trees. <clears throat> I do wonder if it kind of like vibrated into real life, like once it's stabilized. So it's like it's possible that it. It uh. In its experience, in the same way as I was saying, like there's a, could, there's there are, not just could be, there are observers of all scales, and s some of which are composed of building blocks as large as this as their atoms. All of which are just as complex as our atoms. Uh, it's possible that there are observers composed of like stars, who. We see as stars in our rate of time passing because it is in our rate of time passing stars and not that that radioactively decayed. But it is possible that because the decay rates paint this picture of millions of years that even though humans, I believe, did not experience any contraction or expansion of the rate of time passing like they experience time just passing in the same way we we experience time passing generally speaking uh like one two three four <laughs> like but while that was happening one two three four and if we were to count seconds back, one, two, three, four, from this moment back to the, when the supernova, when the Earth expanded, which was something like 5000 BC or something. I don't know. We can figure that out later. <clears throat> it's kind of my, my thought pattern right now, or I can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when that happened, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um... It's possible, though, that from a different angle of perception, also, simultaneously, there was also the experience of a physical... Although it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, dudes. I'm trying, I'm honestly trying to give it some, some, some uh, credence. I know you're probably like, oh, well, fuck you then. <laughs> I was trying to, and now... <laughs> it's just, essentially that would mean that this one single thing was hanging out there for, like, a long time. A lot of it would mean a lot of this was just hanging out for a long time. Although, again, I guess it's possible that, like, it would influence the perception of even like the rock to a point where like the matrix that it's within is maybe like an aura that it has that it doesn't realize it has this aura it's moving around with that like it's going about its business being a coral reef thing and it growing and although I don't think they move around really but <laughs> <sighs> but it just doesn't quite make sense in the same way that the shallogram, like this one, there's no way that in the line of reasoning I just said where like, even though our one, two, three, four, it's only been like 7,000 years, maybe 9,000, 10, 12, whatever. I don't know. Whatever it's been, like thousands of years, not millions of years, not millions Ten at most in the in the like tens of thousands of years since the earth expanded so even though that uh wait it's only been that long well i'm trying to find this fossil while i'm talking there it is fossil i called it a fossil shallogram <laughs> is it non-fossil there's there's literally no way this could happen. There's just no way. It's literally not possible. To coalesce into a, a cohesive unit as two fossils. Shallograms 
cannot be fossils. They cannot be. I, I say that absolutely unequivocally. They cannot be fossils. They are supernovas, all unique in and of themselves. They are not fossils. And they, sh they display the actual mechanics of the universe when we know that they're supernova and not, fit and not fossils in a way that reveals things that, uh, I don't know, I don't know where this will take us when people who know more than me about other things that I don't know anything about see this and take it seriously. I have no idea. It could be that the end of the world will come because I'm an idiot and, and basically unlocked a technology that would make things so unstable. Uh, and really the key was... But that's... It just doesn't... It doesn't make sense though on some levels. So I just keep going. I just keep going and hope for the best, I guess. Like clearly we figured things out in the past. So we can do it again. <laughs> Here it is again. And it, it tends to do this where like... It's almost like it... Uh, it's a spool that gets caught on on the... Coiling of... The, I guess it's just coiling. With enough coil of this structure and sometimes it's just flat across like again it's coiled it's it's moving coiled up like this doesn't really show coiled like barely this one's insane like how is how people say that's a fossil? How can someone say that's a fossil? Not many people have seen this because people aren't looking. We've already con concluded they're fossils, so people aren't like investigating the shallygram so in depth as to have seen this. But there's literally no way that's a fossil. And part of me, I know it looks like a snake, and it's maybe a little creepy to some people. <laughs> <laughs> For me to be like, look at this snake-like object. There's no way it's a fossil, but it's it's literally a get like there's a particle in there. Here's another particle, but they're they're not they're not doing the coiling effect there, although it does look like it supernova a bit, and uh, like this one. No particle whatsoever. Big blob of a nebula of the supernova that where it contacts the wall, it physically carves out along this edge, edge as well as trans transforming the material that it actually hits. I mean, it's it's literally not a fossil at all. Okay, these are not fossils. I can say that unequivocally. Let's keep going. Not a fossil supernova. So it's again, it's like it's taking that particle, and it just starts like taking the like, pieces of it off by this, like cutting the edge, and it just starts shooting it off of these little rims that form into this big arc that's that as it like opens and reveals the innards of the universe particle <laughs> the, the wee little particle look at that little guy Big old thing there. Look at that. Whew. That little guy, that has probably lost some of its material almost inevitably because it's open like this. And the way it's not uh, smooth, like shaped like the chakra 
uh, spiral, it has that. Like this suggests for sure that it lo it looks like it lost a layer, but it, now it has like a more stable sublayer particle, like an inner particle within the particle. <laughs> I, that's how it looks to me. I don't. I'm not saying that with absolute certainty, but uh, double rimmed, like like how electrons tend to be in some ways. Also, this is pretty interesting when it does this. I don't know. Just interesting. Here's another one, Supernova. I think this is a mid-Supernova. So between this one and the one that looks like a square behind it, and then the particle is just missing, this one is like... <laughs> It's literally just beginning to blob up and break out and into, into two separate particles too. It's like a it a uh, a cell splitting that has frozen in time, just hanging out, and then it's got a pre-cell split. I guess it split beforehand as well, like the previous one, like uh, or like that. Well, that seems to have had some type of scattering of debris over there, filling the what should be, I would presume, had have formed a more a more structured way, like here, and it's just coated, like we can kind of see it in there, which means like this came from somewhere, and it it didn't just come from like things getting in there, like this. This rock was in the process of forming itself when the shallogram, this, the spiral was forming. <clears throat> it was still somewhat molten slash uh, malleable. I don't know molten, but malleable. Malleable enough that it could physically take straight edges where it rested it could be indented by other rocks on top of it just malleable enough that like this part could could physically send out a wave of debris outward and have it just like co co uh adhere to the to the side coalesce from whatever like fill in the okay so not fossils back to this is this a fossil maybe but like it doesn't really make sense the angle of it being a fossil is literally the only way that this is a fossil okay is if time one, two, three, four, five, counting back like ten thousand years, in this fossil's perceived reality, did not pass at the same rate of rate of time. That's the only way. In our perceived reality, star, <laughs> particle, that supernova. There's no way that is a fossil. It's it's the same thing. I know it sounds ridiculous at first glance, but like the fur the shallograms are sort of like the the entryway into like a a new layer, like a new tier of uh, uh, possibility through the shallogram portal entryway and then we get into this realm where those aren't fossils so what else aren't fossils okay well ammonites are not fossils because there's ammonites that are bigger like also before i move on from shallograms let's just look at them this one here Just again, just in, put it in this video too. Shallogram on the side of a mountain, not a fossil. Shh. 
Shalagram, side of a mountain, not a fossil. Shalagram, side of a mountain, not a fossil. They're not fossils whatsoever. Not at all. Unless they cross scale, maybe. Maybe at some scale. I guess it's possible. In the same way, at some scale that they... It's just... It's just... It would be almost like it. We would be having like a. I guess it's. I guess it's possible. Maybe I need to reconsider mud fossils work far more rigorously. That like a. Like a ammonite could exist that literally is so. Also, it, it again. It, its rate of time must not be the same as ours. It did not. It could not have experienced time at the same rate as we experienced time. That's that's how that's how far of a stretch it needs to be for them to actually be fossils. Okay, but entertaining that possibility a little bit, although it seems a little uh, like this is not a fossil because it has a nucleus and a core. Uh, and a shell that the standard procedure for these things to be a nucleus that has a shell that is like a the crust of the earth layer that then I mean it's literally this is not a fossil either I'm gonna be honest with you guys these are just not fossils and I think like the vast majority of the shell like Anything from that formed from around 500 something, 600 even maybe million years ago to um, to pretty much present day, I guess, is not a fossil. Unless, unless the only the only possibilities are obviously like more legitimate ones, <laughs> like uh, human fossils, probably dinosaurs. I'm I'm still open to dinosaur fossils being legitimately dinosaurs. Although this is literally is like, are they not? Like, is it possible that they're literally just? In the same way, but at that point, it would be the same way where this is a star in our perception, but a a uh, coral reef in another layer of perception that its rate of time passing was not the same as our rate of time, so that it experienced time much differently. basically stretched out time so that it's it's time was like long <laughs> so it wasn't because its time was slowed down it wasn't experiencing like crazy heat flows it was just kind of hanging out <laughs> being a coral reef thing chilling <clears throat> but that would like that would require to just like be having like the longest it would have to experience like literally hundreds of millions of years it would basically to make that make sense for this a one reef thing to ex to have formed in our perception i guess it would just be in this, like they are individually are timed to a, maybe a short window so maybe this one specifically is timed to a short enough window that it could make sense in a stretched time to have existed for that period and not be too absurd To me, we lived with dinosaurs, but it is possible, I guess, that they were in a similar way. This looks kind of like a nine. In a similar way, literally, just ca caused by 
actual complex flows of energy, as ridiculous as that is, but I don't think dinosaurs are. They're they're legit. That's the thing. Like dinosaurs are legit. These are not. Because <laughs> we lived with dinosaurs, but we lived in a time when they didn't need to eat anything because we didn't need to eat anything we made an environment where no one and nothing needed to eat because we were just able to figure out what the what to do to make that happen but you know people were just not appreciating things and taking advantage of one another to the point where it led to literally i guess we all relearn and then here we are. And so, uh, <laughs> I don't want to, like, feel like I'm on a witness stand or anything. <laughs> Get fucking Billy. Speaking of billion dollars, Alex Jones, one billion. <laughs> I'll just say that, yep. Must pay nine hundred sixty five million for his Sandy Hook lies. He literally told that which is the truth. Maybe not every word, but like get the fuck out of here. It is a lie, dude. Sandy Hook is a bunch of bullshit. Don't believe a word of it. Facts billion dollars for speaking it's just a precursor to what I get fined for speaking oh did you speak too much truth into a world of fucking lies ran by people lying who prefer people not understanding that they're being lied to so that they just uh, continue to be compliant good little servants Rather than figuring out a better way forward. I'm like, get the fuck out of here with the lies. Lies are not the answer. Honesty is the best policy. It's pretty simple, dudes. Fucking lies run the world. The problem is it's so many lies that it's snowballed to a point where we really need a solution before we can actually admit to the lies. And maybe I'm approaching a solution, but I haven't really gotten a sufficient solution. They're probably aware of me. Like, oh, fuck. There he is. That motherfucker. <laughs> he won't shut up. He won't stop it. Stop it. You're gonna fucking ruin everything. They t Mute him. Just mute him everywhere. Uh, right, people like this dude's got ten views. He ain't no one's aware of this motherfucker. Mm hmm. We'll see about that. Not that I want people to be aware of me, really. I'm pretty indifferent, honestly. I don't want to say I don't want. I feel like I need, and not really. Ah, oh, kind of though. At least some people, enough people to do the things I'm doing. Certainly, I have people aware of me, like my family, friends, and the like. I don't want to undervalue any of those people because I do not. Unfortunately, here I am sitting by myself and talking into this tiny microphone like a madman. <laughs> Hello? Uh, do you guys hear me anymore? Is, it, is this thing on? Uh, no one's... Uh, maybe. Okay. This. What was I talking But they're literally not fossils, and it's crazy, though. It... it it's like opening your eyes. No offense to suggest I'm opening anyone's eyes. I'm, I certainly have others open my eyes. It's it's kind of like uh, 
an inflow of energy that breaks through a barrier, like a supernova from some outside source, outside system. No, here's a system that got. There's a four, four text weapon used on ancient Tuarca. Pardon me as I just jump through some things that probably make no sense if, you're this, if you don't know me and my work. Goes this way through, I think this is this way, through the Mediterranean maybe. Is that Mediterranean? Where, there it is. There's the Strait of Gibraltar. Goes through here. I think it might have gone that way too though. Through here. I don't know. Either way. Goes this way. And up here. Up here, up here, up here. And it seems to reach this system here. Which I guess supernova, I'm guessing. I'm, this is just my interpretation thus far. Uh, comes over here. Supernovas, maybe upward in some way to a point of creating this like crater type thing. But also... This way, like the energy is at least propagated further that way. Oh, it goes around this. What is this? I also realized I recorded a whole video and then like the longitude, latitude are down here. I'm like, there's no way to find where Right, there's no way. To, and the numbers are just changing at the bottom. Like, people are like, it's right there, dude. It's right there. And yeah, I watched it because I was like, that shit was bomb. I'm fucking, I'm feeling where this is going with this, this flow. So like, whoa, what's that? Oh, okay. Okay, this is... Alaska, I guess, where that thingamajig there from, right, oh my god, okay, there's India, okay, why is it turned? I gotta turn it from. Ah, uh, pardon me. Okay, there we go. I got it turned. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, I was looking at the top. <laughs> Why is it turned? So, the energy that seemingly is my guess, my best guess thus far, my educated best guess. Came through the Mediterranean, went to south between North America and Africa, and then north between North America and Europe, and etc. And then basically went this way, this way between, just cutting between at that point, just cutting between the layers, like these layers, not actually into a layer. But then it hits this region. Let's go to the here. It hits this region where this big polygon is. See, we can see this here. Let me bring it up. Uh, where is it? Maybe, no. Uh, well, here, down this way it goes to, there's a point, there's a distinct point, here's the point. So it kind of comes around this way, up here, and then it comes down here, and so there's flows up, a lot of flows in this direction. Uh, like these, these, but they stop down here, and then it kind of goes up here to the polygon of like a hexagon type shape, and then it comes 
seemingly like it stops going so much this way and starts to bend over in this direction. Uh, I don't see it as pronounced as I feel like I've seen it. I'm kind of doing the same thing to this earth. Uh. Also, it has this feature that's kind of like a drainage from it. Or to it, maybe. To it? Ooh, to it. Maybe. Drainage to it. Because it's supernova, so it could be kind of like a negative. That's my thoughts, is that this, so this energy came up through here and hit this, basically hit the polygon. Boom. Head on. So like this maybe, and then like this maybe. I mean, it's pretty much head on. Pretty much head on. It hits this freaking thing. So this comes in and just smacks this polygon. Because that's what's happening, is there's polygons that form. And uh, let's check. When did this crater form? This was also 60, oh no, 142. Early Cretaceous. That one is like, where is it? Is it actually here? I think it's actually here. I might be able to find it even. That'd be funny if it was like right at the circle and I <laughs> No, the circle's over here. Is that near that other one though? <clears throat> okay. Shiza. Okay, I need to get away from the top there. There we go. Okay. This comes in this way and then goes up this way. So is there maybe a trail of this going in? Oh, where's the coordinates for that? 73.8, 29.6667-ish. 73, 20, points. It's hard. It's not just right and left. It's like diagonally. 73.8, 29. Point Six six six. Seventy like twenty nine point. That was pretty good. Uh, so it's like there.
here-ish. It also has a 40 kilometer radius, I want to say. Something. Diameter. I meant diameter. Uh, age is a, little, is a little anomalous. I'd say a lot anomalous, honestly. In order for this line of reasoning that I have presented to actually make sense, in the past I've... Why the hell? I'm just trying to think why this happened. The, the Why Siberian traps? I feel like it's a good chance that there is a particle that's supernova. And that was associated with the this. And therefore the uh Probably the Siberian traps are associated with that supernova, and that's way before this crater was formed. That's that's the anomalies, the timing from this relative to Siberian traps. <clears throat> and this does kind of, it almost like blocks the path. <laughs> It, it almost does that. It's like, well, not that's not how it, that's not how this particle exploded. It's not from this energy coming this way. It's actually there's more to it than that. I don't know. Just the thought at the first glance, it almost blocks it though. Like Thor's hammer, thou shall not pass this way. Or anyway, if it's Thor's hammer, pardon me to think I could ever hold Thor's hammer by figuring out how to hold hold Thor's hammer. <laughs> oh, I guess I shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh God. Uh, what's going on there anyway? I'm just gonna do a little of this dump into literally nothing. Okay. okay, cool. I'm out of my goods. Out of my goods. Okay, so this maybe it did not pass that way. It, just, it deflected. deflected this way initially came through this way and to here <clears throat> and then spiraled into the n nucleus where the the heat was just moving inward and then the energy the the ether was moving in to this system until it exploded as a sink because it was seeking a sink that that does actually make sense time wise with it's it's a little maybe odd that the Mjolnir crater wouldn't pop off from this occurrence. <clears throat> but maybe it took enough energy from the next burst coming through that like really was able to shove into that again and that time it exploded and so then it was a delayed uh, let's see extinction events Let's do five big. I feel 
like a I've tied the things I've tied things to these I just don't remember what this one I remember all the time like everything I because it's just this list deck and traps Malkinar Chicxulub Nader Crater Shiva Crater Boltish Crater now Wind River something in Wyoming I forgot that one <laughs> like that one's got so many major things also Himalayas started to be uplifted at that time I believe or like the the initiation of the process started around that time so also there I mean this this one the list goes on and on because it's literally when the supernova of the earth actually happened also it has other things like when um certain things were I think that's when the shallygrams mostly formed or thought to formed I don't know I don't. I've heard shallograms date back to here. That's the thing. All these, all these ammonite uh, fossil fossils, basically, are during these phases when the Earth was expanding, which was not very long. So they're all, they're all just results of the supernova process and the fossil fossil record there that. At least the ones that are like not dinosaurs and so on. So many of them are drawn into question. It's it's insane. I don't want to say not insane because it's actually quite sane. It's just it's crazy, and it's not crazy. It's just crazy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So back to this. This one is this one I could say pretty confidently. I mean, obviously this is established. The Siberian traps is tied to it, but maybe that one I could say is tied to the formation of that the crater. This one that we don't yet know of as far as I'm aware of I, I assume it's huge how big is that let's say let's, let's measure from here to here 500 miles big but that's how it goes. It's just it's ever bigger, ever smaller. It's, that's how it goes. <laughs> but I think that makes like even the way the this kind of comes around. It also looks like it kind of stops. Oh, yeah. Oh, it literally stopped there. Okay, that's right. Oh, that's where it stops, too. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, dudes. See? Thanks. Thanks, Thor's hammer. Thor's hammer hanging out, laying the fucking... No, not this way. Thanks, Thor's hammer. Sorry if that was a little loud. It was... I was like, wait a minute. It doesn't... It seemed to have gone that way. That's a little odd. I just felt pretty good about it, and the, that Thor's hammer was so useful. Oh my god, so cool. <laughs> mm. 
already. I mean, maybe it'll be more useful. Pardon me. Pardon me, Thor's hammer. Already, though, it, it deflected the path. It was like, ah, nah, nah, nah. It went, it went this way. Don't worry, don't worry. Because guess what? This shit right here, that's where that ends. Right there. And what happens? I, th I thought... So in the past, this reminds me, actually. Oh, my God. We come full circle in some ways. Because I in the, originally I said the Himalayas were caused by the rip, the rip in the earth, coming through the earth, coming down here, and then just being like boom and sending a shock wave in this direction. And I'm like, that's a little weird that this ripple wouldn't send a shock wave in this direction. Why not? So I thought, well, maybe it's somehow like at some point. Uh, sent energy in this direction but i looked around i'm like i don't i just don't see it so then i ended up coming like okay 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 what happened was was water came up this way <laughs> came across this way came across this way came down okay uh, boom and yeah that makes sense a wave yeah that makes sense okay 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 no not it not it either but but Full circle, we're back to here. Through here, I was ah. The the uh, Himalayas seem to be tied. Like I didn't start it down here at the Himalayas. The Himalayas it took a while to find them. Himalayas seem seem to be tied to this little this little corner thing that flows must have come. And split at, uh, odds are, odds are flow split at rather than they joined. Like, it could be that the flows happen to remerge. But odds are this is a splitting location, especially because this split comes and comes this way. And boom, Himalayas, and then this way is all this stuff. And I talked about that earlier. Um... And then I come up this way, I'm like, that's interesting. Like, it, So this is something I'd point out. Uh, here it's kind of like particulate, like subtle. The, the chunks are not as big. Like the, the things going on are more, more particulate in nature. And then when we come up and follow the trail, suddenly it starts to transform. Like it's not as subtle. It gets a little bigger, bigger chunks. Now we got this, like, big chunks, and that, and then it's like, whoa, it just opens up. It literally opens up. It's like, oh my god, did it make another freaking hexagon here? Like, here? Like this. And it comes this way though, and it wrap. It, this makes sense then. Then the energy came in this way, and it found an entry point, and literally spiraled into a particle that was actually the right particle. Because it's kind of like looking for a particle. Where's the particle? Looking for the particle to go into. And it finds the match. It's like boom, pop, and if and this energy is blocked off in this direction from the pressure of this of the energy pushing into it from this direction. So it preferentially explodes in the opposing direction, which then physically carves through the the resistance of the because like this could have just uplifted and created like ridiculous mountains here why is there a mountain to the sky in the north of russia like that mountain that is like 170 miles tall what the fuck is up with those dude just <laughs> but instead it just like 
carve through the resistance of this polygon and allowed the energy, like the activation energy was sufficient for the bond between the two polygons to form where like it broke the boundary and allowed for an exchange between the systems. And then the energy comes in full force. But maybe it just what I'm maybe it legitimately was this particle exploding as a, as explosive as it was to be able to carve through here and cause the Siberian traps. Maybe it only was able to carve the outline. Let's look at the Siberian traps. kind of like that there's this so there's the particle like here pretty centered in this regard in terms of land I don't know if they th consider traps to be out here probably if we although I'm not sure if it's mapped although it's oceanic no, I mean, that's still continental crust out there it probably is, I mean, referring back to this, this, <laughs> literal huge circles, huge circles, so anomalous, that is not, uh, let's look around, let's just look around at some other ice sheets. Like, this is not circles. Zoom in on it. This is really not circles. I mean, this has a bunch. So this is a, a bunch of smaller circles forming more poly polygonal sharp edges. Not, not in any way perfectly round like this. Um, I mean, Greenland's just not a good shape to really see. It's just a block of ice, but even around its edges, it doesn't really show any roundedness. Any roundedness here? Not really. This is more typical. More typical. Maybe that one's a little. But is that even a. That might be a lake, even. Island. Legitimately, like, is there other ice like that on Earth? <laughs> maybe this would be Antarctica. Would be uh, maybe are maybe could be ref like equivalent to one of these kind of things. But really, like, I don't know. It's, it's weird. It really is really circular and perfectly so suggestive of a lot of shit going on down there. That's all I'm saying. Let's see. If me, so this is where I was looking at this way. It comes in under this. guess here I think that was here yeah and the next one too or maybe that was this one uh, here's this here's this okay that's the big one that's that one, okay. It comes in through this pathway underneath. I mean, literally producing these. 
Wait, what in the... What is so filled with... It's it's literally like uh, the, the Florida things. What was I thinking of? It's kind of like these when they have openings visible in them. It's hard to see in the... Mm -hmm. I think it was that picture. Let's just open it. Yeah, these are the... Uh, or no. I guess kind of... little openings into into these tubes from the top let me close some tabs real quick maybe not that one okay yeah wow like it's way more porous than earth typically is suggestive of it being more uh, influenced by heat, I guess. I mean, obviously. Something. More like that coral, I guess, is what I was getting at. <laughs> more coral, like having these like many exit paths that were carved that now are voids because they were exit paths for a fl energy to f to just exit from the earth uh vent from the earth and that's and then created just a huge region of porous land relatively speaking to the point where it's just covered in potholes and then this Reminds me of the anode to the cathode. I'm not sure if that makes sense in this regard and in what way it does and in what it would be the anode and cathode in that circumstance of what I was saying before previously about the Himalayas where the Himalayas are sort of like a cathode because of their dendrite structure into India rather than oh, into Tibet. Like the dendrites really branch into India. And then the, the anti-dendrites branch into Tibet. So there's like a finger locking of the two. That kind of reminds me of this maybe. All of this may not be the same thing going on. <laughs> I mean, this could be a like a ethereal lightning bolt discharge here, which is for sure. We should probably look around Gujarat, India. Kind of like this. So, uh, definitely watch my Dwarka video if you haven't. If you want to understand what I'm about to say, at least, is Dwarka was here, the Vortex weapon used on it, then I, I believe maybe, I believe went through here in this way, and then it basically sent a lightning strike here, causing the hexagonal mountain of Mount Gurnar to rise at 66 million years when the, when it all occurred, like there was just this chain reaction where like the whole everything supernova at once, and like this particle that was the a stable void particle formed in the core of this vortex storm that was used to start off the expanding Earth process, which then led to lightning bolts type, ether type lightning bolts probably, not even necessarily electrical lightning bolts, but maybe ether flows that then carved uniquely, 
unique channels that are really only here and and the Siberian traps, similar pro really only places like that. Maybe somewhere else. I, I've only seen them in those two uh, that I can recall off the top of my head. Maybe Canada has similar, so, like not nothing like of the same magnitude. Where this is crazy. Like what the the way this is. Like this is very f mind you. This is very flat. So if this is carved by rivers, like why are there so many carved paths? And, and it's what rivers look like that. Like it's it's abnormal. If we look around like other places, like it doesn't look like that at all. Like the where's that? Not the same. But it is similar where in ether. So what happened here was for sure there's an e ether storm. There are ether particles flying all over the place in high and high quantities and just transforming and causing the deck and traps to basically be emitted there even. And so these are probably similar features, similar ether related, and this one is probably literally a freaking individual ether lightning strike that was just so massive that it's ridiculous from this this nucleus that basically came this way, this way. Looks like it may be even preferred to go towards this drainage point thing which then comes over here I don't know I don't know what to yeah okay towards there okay, let me follow this towards this thing it does kind of seem like that's where that is 65, 60-ish. Like there. So it comes over there, it goes there, and then it kind of just goes down. Yeah. I need uh, my map. <sighs> okay, so that's where that was. It does seem like there was a boundary here then, but then it was able to just go up in there. <clears throat> Unless it just naturally like carved that. I wouldn't be surprised if it just kind of piles things up to make it kind of have like a river-like path. But, and it was more able to go that way initially. Maybe, let's, let's look. Like it could, like initially, it had some capacity to cut more this way before it filled in. So it was kind of going this way and straight and going this way still. Just a good chunk of it was, so it was more slow going this way. And, and this way, it went this way as well. This way didn't really get affected by this. And maybe, maybe a little bit in some ways that I don't understand off the top of my head, but... <coughs> but maybe this piled up here. Like, this looks kind of like it's debris, potentially. 
relatively speaking. Like stuff that piled up from... I don't know. Um, yeah, so that, this is the reason I was interested in that, again, is because Malgranar, it has a ridge from the, from the melon here, it has this ridge, four, four ridges here, one, two, three, four, and there, what's up, Maine? <laughs> There's a fish. Hold up, I'm recording. I'm almost done though, but I'm I'm gonna keep recording. A fish. Hold 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 up. So there's a ridge here, ninety degree, ninety degree, ninety degree, and uh, this one though comes over here at a ninety degree angle. That's what I why I was interested in this. Because it's almost, at some point in the past, I said it's almost like a negative of the hexagon up here that has this one that feeds out and then comes at a right angle wherever. I think this is the line I, I like, compared it to. Is it like a, it's a 90 degree angle there. Did I just call Africa a country again? <laughs> oh, I did that in my Dwarka video. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> if I did. There. Okay, I don't know. Anyway. That's... is interesting. I don't know what to make of it. I think I'm just going to stop recording now though because I've uh, I'm already 2 hours in. Uh and that was a lot of info. It's okay. Till next time recording. Peace guys.